Hello everyone, my name is Pastor Nathaniel Winger. I'm with Wake Up World Ministries. I'm doing this video. Uh, sorry, I have to be a little bit of quiet. I'm in the library. Um, but this video is a warning of Halloween. Okay. Uh, I'm doing this video uh, because it's heavy on my heart what this Halloween is really bringing. And uh, I, I'm guilty as many people as I, I celebrated this until I really did my research. So what we're going to go ahead and do, if you wouldn't mind taking uh, notes of the scriptures that I uh, talk about, we're going to go ahead and start with uh, 2 Corinthians 11, 14. And uh, I read from the King James, I preach from the King James, but I also study from the ESV, so we'll read from both versions. 2 Corinthians 11, 14 says this, and no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Okay, keep, just keep in mind with that. I'm going to go ahead and start reading. I'm going to go ahead and just paraphrase basically what I've written. And you can find this on my, uh, on my Facebook page, my ministry page. And basically, uh, Halloween, which is actually known as the Eve of Sam Ham, the Lord of the Dead, these rituals go back 4,000 years or more. You can actually find it in the Bible, some of the things talked about in sorcery and witchcraft. Now, if you are a witch and you do see this, there is no such thing as a good witch. A witch is a witch. Okay, you may think you're not meddling with things of evil, but you are. I keep my warning on this because this Halloween is, I'll just explain at the end, but. Okay, so basically, if you can trace back the Druids, and a lot of people say that's the original Christians, the Druids really have a very dark history about them. As people also in the Bible, the Egyptians, uh, some of the other tribes that did human sacrifices, sorcery, and so forth. It's all in the Bible. But as I was saying, this goes back 4,000 years. October 31st is also the New Year for Druids and witches. Anybody that's practicing craft or which is really the occult, okay? Okay, sorry, I had to paraphrase this and go as fast as I can, as quiet as I can, so I'm not a disturbance. Holiday is also, if you don't know this, holiday is derived from the two word holy day. That's where holiday comes from. So this is a holiday, remember, holy day. October the 31st is when the witches, the druids, the warlocks, all that practice the craft, the occult, they call upon Samhain, the Lord of the Dead, and throughout the whole year, they call upon evil spirits, wicked spirits, spirits of all kinds, okay, which roam about, okay. And so I'm paraphrasing this. So what they do then, this is how deep and dark the rituals of Halloween, of Sam Ham and Shalom goes. This is what the Druids would do. They'd go into the towns and they'd go to houses and they'd demand from the families that they would be given a virgin, either a child or a baby, as long as it was virgin, male or female, so they can sacrifice that to Sam Ham, the Lord of the Dead. Now, as I said, I am paraphrasing this. The reason why they do this is so they can have a good harvest field, good cattle, good crops, so on and so forth. Now, what they would do, what the Druids would do, is they would go and take a squash or a pumpkin, and they would set it on the front porch, and they would carve it out, and they would put a face on there. All right. Now, they would come back to the families, and if they did not receive the virgin, which is called the treat, the treat, yes, trick or treat, the treat, if they did not receive it, they would then receive a trick. What they would do is they would not, now mind you, what's going to be in this pumpkin, what they would do is they would take with blood and draw a hexagram, not like the, um, this not like the Jewish star, not like the star of David. Okay, it's different if you want to research it, but they would draw in blood around their whole door. Okay, and walk off 
And basically the spirits, the evil spirits will come and then either kill a member of that family. These are demons. These spirits that they call are demons. They would either kill the whole family or a member of the family. Okay. Now if they did receive the treat, they wouldn't trick the family. What they then would do is they would take the virgin if they're satisfied with it. They would then take a candle made of human fat and place it inside of the pumpkin and light it so it glows. And then the spirits, the demons, would pass by that house and no one would die. That is where trick and treat comes from. Now, it's not only witches and Jews still to this day that practice this. It's also a big day for Satanists. I'm not talking about these New Age Satanists called Luciferians. These are punks compared to what the occult were. The occult actually laughs at Christians that celebrate this holiday. Okay, you may say, okay, well, I won't light a pumpkin or anything like that. I won't have my kids go and say trick or treat because that's actually an evil chant going back to the days of the Druids. You know what else the Druids did is they would dress up in these ghoulish, evil costumes. I don't care if your kid dresses up as a frog. Do not conform to these rituals that the Druids did and the witches did. Okay? Because you're still practicing them. The Druids will dress in these to entertain the evil spirits that were around them that they brought forth and gave the sacrifice to Samhain which is Satan. Okay? You can go and look this up yourself. Now, also, the things that you place on your house, now, you mentioned the carved out pumpkin, but uh, you have little cute witches in your windows and stuff. Let me tell you what the witch is. Okay? The little hat she wears, the coned hat, called a cone of power, that means someone is practicing craft. So you even have that on your house. You are inviting that type of spiritism, if you will, evil spirits to your home because you are showing that your home conforms to that. The same with the writing on the broom. Which is still to this day on Halloween will draw a pentagram, a full pentagram, with all the symbolism in it. And they'll take their brooms and they will light around them. What the broom represents is spirit travel going one place to another. This is also a big day for Forges and, and just, just wickedness, just evil. Okay. Um, the same with the bones. You know what witches still do to this day, what druids do to this day, what saints do to this day, is they will go and lay on the graves of the dead and receive their power or take the bones from the dead, grave robber, because they believe that they'll receive that power. They receive evil spirits, they use those for evil practices. Um, this is just, I mean, I'm paraphrasing here, people. You can look this up on my website, on Facebook. I'm not trying to promote my website. I'm just wanting this to get out to as many people as I can. I said I had to paraphrase this, and I can't be as loud as I want to be, but let's go ahead and look at a few more verses. The next one we're going to go to is Deuteronomy. Give me Deuteronomy. Chapter 18, verses 10 through 12, it says this. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or daughter pass through the fire. What did we just read about with the jack o lanterns Where they come from? They are lighted on fire if they receive the treat, the sacrifice. And it was lit on fire. And their face glows. Through the fire. Or uses divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a counselor with familiar spirits, or wizards, or a necromancer. Basically, uses the dead, calls upon the dead. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. I said, write this down. Go and study it yourself. There's other scriptures. 
Now you may say, well, this, this is pretty dark history, but you know, it doesn't seem like that. Remember just the image of the little cardboard cutout of a witch. Go represent each part of what they wear as a part of what they believe. And again, there is no such thing as a good witch. A witch is a witch. Let's go ahead to Second Thessalonians. And we're going to end with this. Second Thessalonians 2 Thessalonians 2.9 says this. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Let's read it from the ESV. The coming of the lawless one, Satan, is by the activity of Satan, Satan worship, the occult, with the power and the false signs and wonders. Let me tell you a story real quick of how fast even doing stupid things like this on Halloween can drag you into the occult. I'm not going to say his name, but he was a friend of mine. I worked with him. He was an atheist, and I witnessed to him, and he doesn't believe in the signs of the return of Jesus like we're seeing or in the times. He doesn't believe in them. I asked him about the rapture whenever it happens. He said, easy, won't happen. That was a year ago. Now, guess what? I was listening to his music uh, before I rededicated my life. And um, he's a metal artist. And uh, he has a group now that basically is black metal. If you don't know what black metal is, it's satanic metal. Three months ago, he started showing pictures of satanic symbolism that I've researched and I've done myself. And uh, a couple days ago, he talked about the foundation of black metal is Satanism. It's worshiping Satan. It has everything to do with Satan. So a year ago, he was an atheist. And just now messing with the black metal stuff mm -hmm. and the imagery and the symbols, he's now a Satanist. A year ago, he didn't believe in anything. Now he's a Satanist. And I've seen in his pictures what's taking him. Many of you know I've messed with the occult stuff. I never was in the occult, but I did a lot of stuff. Many from Job Corps know I did. That one Halloween where I just went all off. I still to this day cannot tell you what possessed me to do that. And I can tell you this, it was evil. It was me being possessed. That's the only way I can explain it because I would never have done that. Even though I was lukewarm, I would have never have done what I did. I've messed with Satanism. I know it's power. And I'm telling you this right now. Anybody that messes with this holiday is inviting evil into their home and into their children's lives. And into your own if you dress up and go to the bars or whatever it is. Be sober and diligent. For Satan is like a roaring lion seeking out whom he may devour. If you're not taking this to heart, you're not being sober to what the to Yahweh. What's a good word for it? You're drinking in what the world tried to sugarcoat, which is really an evil, evil day. Remember, Satan disguises himself as light. My feeling is this. Is uh, this day tomorrow? It's going to be the worst Halloween, the worst of the rituals ever done. Because the occult is trying to usher in the Antichrist and this demons to reign upon this earth and take power. I'm not talking about these Luciferians that think that they are gods, because the occult laughs at them. Because they do worship Satan. And they want to usher him in. They are deceived by thinking that God will stand down and not come and reclaim this earth. 
and remake it. They think that Satan will overthrow God. And it's not going to happen. It is written and prophesied. But it still doesn't mean that these evil things that are happening are going to get worse. It's going to. And I feel heavy in my heart. This will be one of the worst Halloweens ever in history. Ever. It's been on my heart for about two weeks. So what I'm asking is people to step to the front line of spiritual warfare. Put on the full armor of God and fast and pray that every spell cast is broken. Every evil spirit that's called is welded shut. That door is welded shut by the blood of Jesus. That every candle lit, every black candle lit. That every pentagram drum will just wash away and just disappear. That the candles will blow out or be broken. Because if you don't believe the things that I read don't happen today, go look at your last year's paper, November 1st. And look at the police report for the number of animal shelters broken into, the number of grave rob, graves robbed, and the number of murders, and disfigured animals, and just, just go and research it, and the activity of the occult. Please pray and fast tomorrow, and please share this message. God bless you.